The Lake Berryessa splash-in is the first of what two lake amphibian owners, Malcolm Taylor and Max Truscott, envision as a series of West Coast splash-ins. The event was held on February 4, 2012, just six weeks after the pair decided to organize the event. Lake Berryessa is located just north of San Francisco, near Napa, California. The Pence's company, operators of the Chaparral Cove Resort, offered the use of their boat ramp and picnic tables, and they also moved one of their three docks, creating a wider access for seaplanes. Max and Malcolm flew their planes from Palo Alto as a flight of two, but weren't the first to arrive. That honor went to Don Goodleben and his family, who flew two hours in their Lake Buccaneer from Fort Jones, California, near the Oregon border. The three planes circled on the water until the dock was moved, and minutes later the three planes were parked on level ground at the top of the ramp next to the picnic tables and fire pits. Chief Cook Taylor began building a charcoal fire to cook hot dogs and hamburgers. Meanwhile, Trescott operated a radio and marshaled aircraft onto the ramp. By noon, a dozen aircraft had arrived and the ramp was nearly full. The event was organized for Lake Amphibians, though two Sea Ray pilots caught wind of the event and were invited to join. Throughout the day, pilots gathered in small groups to view and discuss the features of each aircraft. Gibson Howell's Buccaneer had the most creative paint scheme, a custom shark and octopus. After lunch, a drawing for raffle prizes was held. Every pilot walked away with a prize, including hats, shirts, seaplane directories, and magazine subscriptions donated by the Lake Amphibian Flyers Club and the Seaplane Pilots Association. In the afternoon, bottle drop and spot landing contests were held just offshore. Sea Ray pilot Rob Lober won the bottle drop contest, and Gibson Howell won the spot landing contest. The Polar Bear Classic name was chosen partially as a joke. While the splash-in was held in the dead of winter, the Napa Valley never really gets very cold, much to the benefit of wine lovers everywhere. Shortly after 4 p.m., the last seaplanes departed. <laughs>